Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 1 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4 and examples 1 to 14. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 1 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangle says, sides of triangles are given below, determine which of them are right triangles. In case of a right triangle, write the length of its hypotenuse. So there are four parts of this question number 1 and each part they have given us the sides of triangles and we have to determine whether this triangle is a right triangle or not. If it is a right triangle, we have to say which is the length of its hypotenuse. So we already know from Pythagoras theorem that it's theorem 2.8 that in a right angle triangle the hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides that is the base square plus the perpendicular square. So therefore by Pythagoras theorem write down by Pythagoras theorem if a triangle is a right angle triangle if the hypotenuse square is equal to the base square plus the perpendicular square therefore we can say that the triangle is right angled so therefore since they have given us the, all the three sides of a triangle let us substitute its values and find out whether we obtain hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus the perpendicular square so in a right angle triangle let us draw a right angle triangle and name it as abc here BC is the hypotenuse which is the longest side, AC will be the base and the perpendicular will be AB. So let us begin with the first question. The sides of the triangle are 7 centimeters, 24 centimeters and 25 centimeters. So here let us take the hypotenuse as the longest side. So let the hypotenuse value be 25 and base and perpendicular can be anything. So let us take base as 24 and the perpendicular as 7 centimeters. So let us substitute these values in our Pythagoras formula and find out whether it forms a right triangle or not. Here the hypotenuse is BC. So we will write BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square. Substituting BC is 25 square is equal to AB square is 7 square plus AC square is 24 square. So what is square of 25? It is 625 equal to 7 square it is 49 plus 24 square is equal to 576. It is better if you guys remember all the square values up to 30 so that it is easier for you to simplify any kind of problem. So 49 plus 576. So let us add 49 to 576 and find out whether it is 625 or not. So 9 plus 6 it is 15 carry 1. 7 plus 1 it is 8 plus 4 it is 12 carry 1. So 5 plus 1 is 625. So here we have proved that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus the perpendicular square right. So therefore write down BC square is equal to AB square plus AC square. Therefore, we can say that the sides of the triangle given above forms a right angle triangle. Therefore, which is the side of the hypotenuse here? It is 25, right? Since we assume the hypotenuse to be 25 and we prove Pythagoras theorem. So therefore, we will write length of its hypotenuse is 25 is equal to 25 centi meters. So similarly, let us substitute other three parts of the question. In part two, they have given us the sides as three centimeters, eight centimeters and six centimeters. So again here, the longest side is eight centimeters. So let us consider it to be the hypotenuse. We'll take hypotenuse as eight centimeters. We'll take base as the six centimeters and perpendicular to be three centimeters. So let us substitute as BC square that is the hypotenuse square is equal to AB square plus AC square. Okay, so BC square is 8 square is equal to AB square is 3 square plus AC square is 6 square. So 8 8s are 64 
and that is equal to 3 3s are 9 plus 6 6 is 36 so what is 36 plus 9 so 9 plus 6 is again 15 carry 1 3 plus 1 it will be 4 so it is 45 which is not equal to 64 right so therefore we can write down bc square that is the hypotenuse square is not equal to sum of the square of the other two sides that is ab square plus ac square therefore it does not form a right angle triangle therefore the sides of triangle given above does not form a right triangle okay so therefore we cannot determine the length of hypotenuse since it is not a right triangle so similarly let us solve the third part of the question so now let us solve the third part of the question where we they have given us the sides as 50 centimeters 80 centimeters and 100 centimeters so here the longest side is 100 centimeters so let us take it as hypotenuse hypotenuse is equal to 100 centimeters let the base be 80 centimeters and perpendicular be 50 centimeters the base and perpendicular can be any value between these two so you can take any value to be base or and perpendicular so let us now substitute again bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square according to the pythagoras theorem so bc square will be here 100 square equal to ab square is 50 square plus ac square is 80 square so what is 100 into 100 it will be 10,000 right similarly what is 50 into 50 so 50 into 50 we have two zeros so we will write two zeros here and five fives are 25 so it is 2500 plus what is 80 square again 80 into 80 will be two zeros will come here eight eights are 64 okay that is 6400 so let us add this uh, 2500 plus 6400 so 0 plus 0 is 0 5 plus 4 is 9 and 6 plus 2 it is 8 so it is 8900 which is not equal to 10,000 so therefore here the hypotenuse square is not equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so therefore we can say that the sides of the triangle given above does not form a right triangle therefore we cannot find out the hypotenuse value here again the fourth part of the question they have given us the sides as 13 centimeters 12 centimeters and 5 centimeters so here the longest side is 13 centimeters let us assume it to be the hypotenuse okay 13 then base will be 12 and the perpendicular will be 5 centimeters so let us substitute in the pythagoras theorem which is 13 square is equal to the base square plus the perpendicular square so we will get what is 13 into 13 as 169 so here 13 square is 169 12 square is 144 so here it is perpendicular square is 5 squares and 5 square is 25 right so therefore 13 square is 169 12 square is 144 plus 5 square is 25 so let us add 144 plus 25 and see 5 plus 4 is 9 4 plus 2 is 6 and 1 so we got 169 is equal to 169 so the right hand side is equal to the left hand side so therefore we can say that the value bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square okay which satisfies the pythagoras theorem therefore the sides of triangle given above forms a right triangle therefore the sides of triangle given above forms a right triangle so therefore which is the hypotenuse here the hypotenuse is equal to 13 centimeters which we had assumed initially right so therefore the length of hypotenuse is is equal to 13 centimeter so this is how we solve this question number one if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i will be solving question number two from exercise 2.5 chapter 2 triangles so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and cert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen thank you